can't wait to get going. Um, it's mad, it's season come around so quick. Obviously, they had a strong pre season, been really happy with the work we've done pre season on and off the pitch. I think we've uh, head in the right direction now. It's a case of transferring all the good work that we've done into the first game, uh, which, you know, really we know is going to be an extremely difficult one. Of all the people, you will know this. What is your record like on opening day of the season? Um, hit and miss, to be fair. I think probably, <laughs> probably like uh, probably like most 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 managers, head coaches. Yeah, probably a bit of hit and miss. Um, trying to think back now. Be, not not a great one last year. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, and at what point does it start really mattering? Mattering? Yeah. What time does it, does it really become important? Like ten games in. Do you get like a free hit on a Saturday? No, I think uh, for me it's the short term sight of uh, hey, we go into the Saturday to win and then we work off the back of that. I think it. I think too often if you if you set markers like that, that, that they become too far away and then you know if you hit it and you're not where you want to be, what do you do? So I think for me it's, it's we've done a lot of the lads around practice being excellent every day. So turn up, turn up, train to your maximum every day, do everything you can from that side of it, and you know, the result then hopefully will take care of itself on the Saturday. Who is and who isn't available? Pretty, pretty much, we have to give credit to the staff. Obviously, you know we want to stretch the lads physically, mentally, pre-season, and take them outside their comfort zones. But you know, ultimately, at the same point, you want everybody or as many players available for the first league game as possible. So, I think when, when I look at it, we've got a couple of lads that are carrying, carrying slight knocks, nothing major, no long-term issues, but just a couple of twinges that we, that we want to wrap up more than anything. So, um, yeah, there'll be a couple that will be missing at the weekend, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Does that make your job worse? I mean, that's a horrible decision saying, that's my 11, it's up to you lot to work your way in. Some of them are going to come knocking on your door, aren't they? Is, is this the worst time for that? Uh, it, it depends how the result goes on Saturday, right? I think that, that the players get it. I think, I've, I've been quite clear, all, all along we treat them properly. In the team, not in the team, not in the squad. For me, really important, they will get treated properly, treated the same, they get the, the work that they need individually. Um, so they all get coached, they all, uh, get stretched to understand their role so that you know hopefully when they step on the pitch they're, they're, they're ready to deliver and I think the biggest thing is for the players to understand that you know I think we used 34 players last season um, hey it can change in a week so one minute you're not in the team in a week's time an injury or sending off or it can change you have to be ready so if you're not in a good headspace if you haven't worked properly if you know if you're walking around with a bit of face on that's probably not going to help you get what you want ultimately so it's it's all that's putting the team first and understanding that, that if, if the team does well individually you know we'll get what we want.